good afternoon all uh today we'll do experiment number 4 in our uh, modeling and analysis lab okay so experiment is uh, isentropic flow analysis in a two d subsonic diffuser and subsonic nozzle okay so we have studied uh we have studied in gas dynamics about uh, the uh, flow about flow through uh, ducts or flow through objects in uh, at various mach numbers okay so we have studied the flow the subsonic flow too through diffuser and nozzle fine right? we we know that uh, the nozzle uh, or the diffuser or any duct okay we just take some duct of converging or, or uh, diverging that particular duct behaves differently at different flows that is at subsonic and supersonic flow okay so the basic theory if we take from the gas dynamics you can see we can conclude how the duct behaves at different mach numbers so at subsonic mach numbers at mach number uh, less than 1 a converging duct behaves as a nozzle and the diverging duct behaves as a diffuser and it is the exactly opposite for a supersonic flow and we have studied why uh, this happens uh in our fluid dynamics aerodynamics and gas dynamics combined okay so it is not we'll we'll start uh, studying the flow through subsonic diffuser first okay. so to study the flow analysis through subsonic diffuser so we have to have a geometry to simulate the flow in ansys fluon we should have a geometry okay so to have a geometry a well designed geometry we first roughly take the uh, subsonic diffuser of diverging section we label uh, the flow parameters and the geometric parameters like this roughly now the entry parameters are star parameters or the throat parameters the conditions at the throat of a duct that is the mach number at the entry ideally for a diffuser should be 1 and at the exit The Mach number one decelerates to some lower Mach number, depending upon the requirement. Okay, and accordingly, uh, whatever the pressure we require, we can get through uh, designing to a particular area ratio. Okay, now uh, let us say uh, we need uh, exit Mach number. from the subsonic diffuser to be 0.4 so using mach number 0.4 in uh in our isentropic flow tables we can find various ratios of parameters like this p by p not p by uh, p star and so on we can get all these values from a table now assuming uh the total pressure assuming the chamber pressure in uh, experiment if you take uh, some experimental setup if you assume some ex experimental setup if you are testing this subsonic diffuser in that particular setup let's say the chamber pressure is around 2 bar and the total uh, temperature is around 300 kelvin so using these values you can find the static pressures and static temperatures at both the cross sections Now this P star, you can find P first using P naught. Substitute P here and find P star. That is the pressure at the entry. P is the static pressure at the exit. So you got static pressure at entry and exit. You have total pressure. You have total temperature. You have Mach numbers one and point four at entry and exit respectively. Okay. Now we need the geometry. so we have area ratio now with same area ratio we can build a diffuser of any any size 
it's a by a star it's just a scale it's just a ratio it's just a dimensionless number you can build the model at any scale so you can choose your diameter d star or b you can choose any one uh according to the requirement so i have chosen d as 100 mm the exit diameter so with exit diameter we can find the exit cross sectional area assuming uh, the cross section the duct is circular i have used pi d square for area so using this uh, you can find a pi 100 100 square by 4 you'll get 7854 mm square so using this area in area ratio we can find a star so a star is found to be 4939 mm square so using this 4939 mm square with pi d star square by 4 we can find d star d star i got 79.3 mm okay so from uh from a paper or from uh page 485 from gas dynamics sorry gas turbines by regeneration okay uh, conclusion from uh from research we found that uh for an attached flow l by h ratio i have chosen 2 okay or we can try to find Okay, it's not available here. You can refer to uh, this page in this textbook. You'll get uh, an idea. So I've chosen L by H ratio as two. So H is nothing but D star. Okay, the smaller uh, diameter. <clears throat> so D star is I've assumed it to be eighty mm, and you get L as one sixty mm. Now we know the geometry and the flow parameters. For our subsonic diffuser. Okay, so using this, we can get into our uh, ANSYS fluent design model. So we know how to draw a sketch. So this is the sketch. This is the sketch I have uh, drawn, and we can see uh, the parameters. The geometrical parameters that I have defined. So H three is the length of the duct, one sixty mm. B four is the entry diameter. Here it is radius, forty mm. We had got seventy nine point three, assumed to be eighty mm. It is forty mm. And B five, hundred mm. We had assumed B as hundred mm. Radius is fifty mm. Okay. So we have drawn only half of the section because since it's a circular section and the flow is axisymmetric we can just use uh, just half of the section we can mirror the remaining section so this is a sketch uh, create surface through sketch and we'll get a body surface body we can save this and exit so now in the machine So initially, uh, it is recommended to see how, without giving these features, just generate the mesh and see how it looks. Later on, uh, we can add, insert, uh, face machine. I've added face machine. 
okay change it to uh, quadrilaterals this it, it is not quadrilaterals next i have added sorry geometry you have to select complete face next face just insert sizing here insert sizing in the geometry select the face it will become face sizing through element size element size are uh, given 1 mm okay. and then insert a uh, refinement you get refinement just select the wall you get the final machine like this okay try to keep your uh, number of elements within 15 or 20 less than 20000 elements so it is around 9500 elements notes or 9000 elements so that uh, since we are uh, since we are new to the simulation let us keep the numbers small and we'll see uh, faster results now after creating mesh so you take edge selection here select the edge right click create name selection and name it as inlet select the right edge create name selection rename it as outlet select this create name selection create it as wall select this line create name selection name it as axis save and exit in setup okay so we know what to do scale check report density base axisymmetry okay then uh, model energy k omega sst compressibility effect materials uh, ideal gas sutherland inlet pressure inlet so order we have found so uh, we assume total pressure to be 2 bar okay initial kh pressure initial pressure at inlet so what is the initial pressure at inlet initial pressure at inlet it is p star so what is the value of p star it is 1056 pi bar at same thing we have to enter here in pascals 1056 pi 0 pascals 1 2 3 4 5 Temperature three hundred total temperature. Okay. Outlet pressure. So what do we have at the exit? It is P. Just P. Just P is one point one seven nine one two bar. Same thing. You write here in Pascal's. Total temperature is same three hundred Kelvin. Okay. Just check whether axis is axis, and wall is wall. and operating condition set to zero okay now reference value is copied from inlet if you want we can make this uh, second order it may take a little bit more time that's all solution initialization from inlet okay let me let me use second order Inlet initials. Check your case. There is nothing to recommend.
problem. It is basically I used pressure proof, and here I chose the density based. Let us see which uh, pressure proof. So not all geometries and not all flow parameters uh, are suitable for a given uh, setup. You have to try some variations. So this particular, uh, these particular flow parameters are working with pressure based and not density based. So mostly density based will work, but, uh, it's working in pressure base for this. Just uh, the subsonic diffuser uh, is giving some problem. All other uh, sections in experiment four and five are good. It's a uh, density based solver. So you can further iterate, you can further calculate, it will iterate for another 500 iterations until the solution is converged. So for the time sake, uh, now we can see contours. This is how it will look. So you can see the pressure is continuously uh, increasing, very smoothly, very smooth increase in pressure. Okay. If you want to see velocity in terms of Mach number, you can see, and uh, you can see that uh, in the subsonic diffusion, the velocity Mach number is decreasing from around, uh, it should be one. We had set the inlet Mach number one. We had set the pressure, we had computed the pressure such a way the Mach number is one at the inlet and at the exit it is around 0.4. Our calculation is 0.4. Here it is around 0.4. <coughs> so we can exactly see how much it is as an average using surface integral. You can use area weighted average. Check the static pressure at the inlet. It's uh, 105650. How much do we have here? So Inlet P star is 10565. Okay. And exit that is 17912. What do we have here? 17912. Okay. Pressure is good. Now uh, you see the Mach number at inlet. It is 0.8, you, if you further iterate, it should come to at least 0.99. You just shift the maximum at exit, it is 0.4. Okay. 
it is fine. Now we check the temperature at the inlet. So it is 250 Kelvin. What did we get? T star. At the entry, it is T star, it is 250 Kelvin. So at the exit, it is 290. We'll see whether we get 290. That is 290. That's good. You can further trade. Save your case by exporting your case and data. Name it, save somewhere. And you can go to uh, uh, post processing and you can further study your uh, uh, flow using vectors and string lines. The second part of this uh, fourth experiment is to study the flow through a subsonic nozzle. Same geometry, but inverted. Okay, you just have to create the sketch inverted. That is like this. So you can see here the this is the subsonic diffuser. We had done like this. For a subsonic nozzle, it is just inverted. So we uh, we uh, we we will use the same area ratio to avoid the uh, uh, complications of calculation we'll use same geometry okay we'll use same mac number so here we selected exit mac number 0.4 here we'll select entry mac number 0.4 the exit mac number for a nozzle subsonic nozzle should be ideally mac number one that is the throat condition choking condition or throat condition this is the maximum uh, value that can that can be obtained in a subsonic flow okay so we'll select m1 or m to be 0.4 so this you can see a uh, design of subsonic nozzle select m to be 0.4 so since it is 0.4 all the ratios are ratios are same Okay, so we had found for 0.4 all these ratios, right? Then for that duct, all these ratios will be same, but the notations, the subs, the notations, uh, the parameters are inverted. You can see 0.4 and uh, P, T, and B, everything is same. But for a diffuser, all these were at exit, for a nozzle, all these are at inlet. That's the only difference. Okay, uh, same uh, setup. If you put same uh, parameters, same geometry, that is why uh, this and this is same until mesh. So if we go to setup, So uh, we know what to do, scale, check, report, density base, axisymmetry, models, energy, K omega SST with compressibility effect. Okay. Now materials, you know, it's ideal uh, gas and southern line for this positive. Boundary conditions, pressure inlet. What do we have? We have total pressure two bar. This is subsonic nozzle. Okay. We have a uh, static pressure. How much? One point seven nine one two bar in Pascal's. This much. Total temperature three hundred Kelvin. Say okay. Now for outlet. 
what do we have for out here we just have to enter static pressure what do we have for static pressure at outlet it is p star what is p star that we found here it is this enter the same value in pascals say okay okay let's check whether axis is axis and all is wall here now we can go to our next step copy from inlet now let's make them second order if you want solution initialization through standard initialization and initialize check the case there are no recommendations by the system for iterate for 500 iteration
can further iterate to another final uh, iterations solution the converge at some point so for now we can see uh, how the flow looks we can see the static pressure counter uh, uh, you can see uh, that the static pressure is decreasing okay, from around 1.7 bar to uh, around 1.05 bar the static pressure is decreasing you can see when was two in terms of mass number you can see the velocity is increasing from 0.4 to uh, about uh, one mass number one at the throat condition if you want to see more accurately you can go to reports surface integral area weighted static pressure at the inlet it is that much 1.7 bar at the exit 1.06 bar which is almost close to our values you can see velocity uh, mass number almost one so when, mid, when the solution converges it will be exactly one at the inlet it is 0.42 so it will error now we can also see the temperature at the inlet it is 290 the exact value is 290 kelvin it is 289.5 here that is 290 that the exit static is 250 we'll see how much it is it is 251 results they look uh, good no. so that's all you can save export case and data and save your uh, project now uh, if you want further visualize you can go to your uh, post process you can see the task streamlines and other contours required location that apply so you increase the number of uh, counters to the number so that the counters look smooth this is how this is what you do if you want to see velocity you just select velocity and see the velocity Okay. So this part of uh, post processing is seeing vectors and string length. We'll switch off the counter and we'll just see the vectors. Increase the vectors if, if it is needed. Okay. okay, that's all. Vectors will be, uh, they were very useful when we were uh, studying flow or air coil. Wherever there is turbulence, vectors will be very useful to visualize the turbulence, how the flow is curling. But here, since it's a straight wall duct, there's no uh, much significance to vectors. Okay. Even the uh, streamlines will also look like that. So vectors and streamlines will be very useful wherever there is strong turbulence to study the direction of flow over the body. Okay. That's all. If you want to save any of these rules, you can go to file, uh, save picture, select the destination, you select whichever you want and just type the name and save. Okay. I want to save. I don't need to save again. That's all. You can close. Let's see end of uh, experiment four. 
Thank you.